Hi guys, today's theme is how to get over disappointment and feel okay even if things don't go your way. Some of you may know that I invest in stocks and my first stock pick was Nike. I thought I was going to be the next Warren Buffett. It turned out that I was like the next John DeLorean, except without the drug charges and the FBI arrest. Put it this way, I lost a lot of pocket money in that investment. That could have stopped me from ever taking a risk. I learned a really important lesson on investing to buy into products I actually use. A month ago, I bought Amazon. Amazon, and it's the gift that keeps on giving. And I've more than made up for my losses on Nike. I actually may take some of my profits and buy some New Balance. Size two kids, I mean, in case you were wondering. Let's get right into it. Our first question is from Liam Kozliak. I just got rejected from what I consider my perfect job and feel like a failure. It's made me scared of putting myself out there again. Any advice? Yes. First of all, Liam, there's no such thing as failing. We only fail when we don't try. In my book, you've actually succeeded because you were willing to take a risk. The real winners are the people who keep going despite the setbacks. If I gave up every time I got a C on my math homework, I wouldn't even be able to count to 10. Our next question comes from Janice Mullen. I just opened my own cookie store and another store just opened up across the street and our business has dropped off by half. Any advice to get over this setback? If you look at capitalism, and I'm not here to discuss if it's good or bad, although I do love money. I know that's bad, but I love it. The taste, the smell. Capitalism is giving your consumer the best quality at the best price. Be creative. Give them maybe unique flavors, little cookie bites, free samples. Instead of seeing this as a setback, how about you see this as a challenge? How can you make your cookie store stand out from the competition? I am available to sample all your cookie flavors at anytime. Our next question is really emotional. Grab that tissue. I have been searching for a job for months now. Fell behind on child support. Can't afford a lawyer to get my babies back home. And I feel like an absolute failure to my kids and my husband. I've lost both and will take any advice I can get. I actually need to take an emotional break. I'm sorry. We'll be right back. I'm so sorry you're struggling. Try and remember this. The key to happiness is not thinking about what we don't have, but feeling blessed with what we do have. Obviously, I don't know you, but you could tell yourself this. You are a really sensitive and caring person and you're not like a robot. You feel emotions, which is a great character trait. To have human emotions, I mean, that's worth more than its weight in gold, silver, diamonds, and money. I know I'm only 11, but if there's one thing I've learned is that when one door shuts, another one magically opens. Usually it's a better quality door with a shinier doorknob. I hope that helps. I'm thinking about you and all the viewers. Feel free to keep in contact Contact. Okay guys, here's one big disappointment. It's the end of the show and I gotta go have dinner and go chase after my brother and my new balance shoes. Super cake.